Ladies and gentlemen, the president of the United Cakes. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a date. That's right, guys. We got a date. We got a date. October the 21st is the date that we will bring this car to Gus. And he will start work on it on October the 24th. 24th of October. Yeah, this year. <laughs> so that means we got some work to do. First of all, First thing we gotta do is find a transport. So, if you got any suggestion, let me know in the comments because we need to get this car all the way to Gus, about 100 kilometers from here. And I don't have a suitable car for it. We'll find a way, we'll find a way. Nevertheless, this means a lot. There's a lot that we need to do. No, no, there's no, 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 no. No, there, because there's not a lot to do. There are some things that we need to do and I don't know what. So um, this video is going to be a little update on where we are, like a season two. Okay? What have we done? Where are we now? What are we gonna do? The coming four weeks from now, four to five weeks. And yeah, just a little reminder for you guys, if you turn in for the first time, why the hell is this guy with a broken Ferrari in his garage. And why the hell is he making a video about it? That's a long story, but we're gonna continue and we're gonna start with what I have to do, I guess. Mm -hmm. Two hours later. No, I'm not drunk. <laughs> I'm just crazy, insane in the membrane. So, little uh, short throwback, yes. Somewhere in 2017, the gearbox broke or the third gear fell out, something like that. But it broke, it had to be done. And well, I decided in 2018 that the engine was coming out, take it to Gus or let Gus take it out, rebuild the gearbox and uh, while the gearbox is out, do the engine complete overhaul or repair. Meanwhile, the car came back and we found some rust everywhere. There, 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 etc. Lots of places that needed attention. So I then decided it was time for a bare metal respray. So we pulled the car apart, we rebuilt the suspension, and we did a respray. Or I didn't, but eh, the painter did a respray. Took us over a year. For the respray a year to get the car uh, disassembled and now at this point a year to get the car reassembled we're almost finished because everything now is on the car there are some pieces that need to be redone for example this light bulb over the, this lamp is not good uh, i damaged it while putting the car back together so it will need to be repainted the bumper, they made a little mistake. As you can clearly see, there's a little gap that needs to be corrected. Don't mind the mess. Here's the 3D printer I made parts with for the car. Very cool. And we got some paint damage over here caused by me being stupid. And we got a mist spot that needs to be sprayed. And that's why the louvers or that thing over there is still not on the deck and it will not be until the car is finished but we don't need that to get an approval to get her back on the road i believe meanwhile everything else is done i got sorry a lot of boxes over there ready for gus i got some boxes in the trunk here ready for gus and well 
that's all uh, at this point. But there are still some things that I need to do before she gets to Gus. Now, we're all up to date again. And if you are new to the channel, now you know why the fuck I'm uh, feel, oh, Why the hell? No, why I am doing this. And if you are new to the channel, excuse my bad English. But I figured it would be better in English because my Dutch, Dutch sucks even more. So, here's my list. I got the screws, or written it down in Dutch, but that's okay. Screws, screws to the door. Yes, when I reassembled the door, uh, I missed some screws. Very specific ones. I need to find that one. We got a screw uh, for the lock of the door. Yeah, same thing. We got a pressure plate on the door, all on the driver's side door, lots of missing parts. Again, not really necessary to get it legal, legally on the road again. We got a little cap uh, again for the door. Um, we need to fix this one, it's still not Titans because of the lamp that is going to be a job that we're going to do very soon I need to get the battery hooked up and test the electrics the lights the windows and I need to do that very quickly because if it doesn't work then I need to make sure that it works well before the car goes to gas <laughs> challenge challenge accepted so we got some headlight screw head headlight screws <clears throat> this damaged headlight, uh, the screws over here are on the outside. Oh, sorry, on the outside of the yeah, cap means that it will touch the body. And here we have them perfectly aligned with the cap, so that's better. So I'm gonna replace that one, but I have to find the screws first. Okay, the windscreen wiper thingies. How do you call it? Spray, spraying thingies. Ugh. These over here. They are, especially this one, that's fixed. I need to find a way to fix them. There was a little yeah, thingy underneath, but that was gone in time. Perished, demolished, I don't know but it's not there anymore. So, and we can't buy it because I couldn't find none on the market. So we have to figure out a way to do it ourselves. Then we got the, ah, that's another thing that for the painter, when the car is finished, she's going to the painter to have some things corrected. For example, here we need a black line and now it's a red line mistake because I don't care about originality but some things then just need to be good then we got the grill ah no the grill the grill ah yes I know all little things look like this is not good oh Imagine driving the car and that will be bloop, bloop, oh, damaging the paint. So there's a little rubber that is on there. I haven't got it. Uh, it's lost. It, it, it also, when I took it apart, it was like yeah, dust. So we need to find something else to fix that one. Then we got the steering rod. Yes, somewhere in these boxes behind the stupid wig, stupid wig there's a steering rod for the left side that needs to be replaced because it didn't fit anymore and I ordered a new one it's already in but now I have to put it on that's it and then we got the fuel pump and pipes ah done the fuel injection system distributors done the air intake and manifolds done throttle housing done engine ignition done the alternator the air conditioning Nay, oh, air conditioning. We got some work on the air conditioning. Ah, you can't see it right now, but I created my own cap. 
and now I have to uh, make sure that it stays on there. I have to check it. Again, something you can do, I think, only when the car is finished. Then we got the rubber, window rubber, yes, hmm, tricky one. Can you see it? <coughs> Over here, there's a little broken rubber. I first decided to leave the rubber in because they are extremely expensive if you can find, if you can find one. But now the car is finished and I'm, I, it's getting on my nerves. Maybe in the future I will need to replace that or I will want to replace that. The passenger, we need a passenger. I don't have a clue what this thing says. Uh, and something else has to be changed, but I don't know what it is. Must be less important. For the inside of the car, we didn't change anything, but after the car is finished and back on the road, I'm gonna save some money to get the seats refurbished and the, um, the dash redone because our late cat decided once a few years ago to get into the car and put his nails in the dash. That's why we call it the late cat. And finally, and we need to paint some parts like this one. And we have two of the wheel arches over there. Uh, but I'm having second thoughts if I need to paint them because probably the paint will be gone in a few weeks because we're gonna use this car. So, a lot of talking, I know, I know, and you probably expected me to start working on the car, but for me, it's like a little uh, highway bump I have to overcome. So I decided to first make a video about what I'm gonna need to do, and then really start to do it. So, yeah, that's it. Oh, and I forgot, I really, 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 really need to clean this one. <laughs> Hell yeah, <laughs> she's dirty as oh, oh. So okay, the first thing we are going to do right now is clean this freaking garage. Like, well, that's a lot better. Yes, uh, don't mind the helmet over there. I can use one, but ah, so that's better. Yeah, all we need to do now is vacuum, but I'm not gonna do it right now because then I'm gonna wake the kids and I'm gonna go, ah. Okay, well, so we created a base to get started again. Uh, I gave you a little explanation on what we're gonna do in an update for guys and girls who didn't know that I was working on a Ferrari and that's the reason why I make videos and ah, la la la. But with that bombshell, I want to say 21st of October, this car is leaving. So hopefully the day after or the week after, you're going to see a video of that. Meanwhile, we're going to have to start working on the car. So we're going to get some serious updates or not. <laughs> because uh, I forgot to tell you, mention that. Um, everything I can't do, I ask Gus. To do it for me so if i haven't solved the left leaking brake caliper i forgot to mention that in the first part of this video but they haven't done that when the car is moving to gus he is gonna fix it for me and i know that will cost money and that's a lot of pain with the growing gas prices and some and all but we just need to get this car on the road even my wife is mad at me now, nah, not mad, but she's complaining. Why is it taking so long? With that bombshell, I want to thank you for watching. See you again next time. And please don't forget, like, subscribe, spread the word, help me out. Thank you and a goodbye.